Morning. I swear a lot. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Limbus Company. So, no extractions today because I can't afford it. And, uh, nothing else. Other than, I did not mean to go there. Other than finishing Kanto for this dungeon, we can finish it, hopefully today. I am limited on time, so it's actually a good thing I can't do any extractions or any uptize or anything like that, so we can just crack on as quickly as possible. I don't want to rush it, but I also want to be efficient with time. Taken by Gubo, Yi Sang was brought to a room entirely painted in white. He covered the time with a long silence accompanied by the mirror. A very fancy way of saying, there was an awkward silence. And he was completely smooth-brained, blank-thoughted during that time. Is he in a fucking prison cell or something? <laughs> oh, they took him to Encorp. Oh, spooky. <laughs> One visited in the square within the square, and the other visited in the square within the square within the square. I know what he means, but... <laughs> such a silly way to put it. Oh, how generous. Yeah. Don't understand your stupid mirror. You act like you have a boyfriend in there or something. And make sure you brush your teeth and do your laundry. And is it not a tool of amus amusement? It's not a tool of amusement for Yi Sang himself? Can he not enjoy it? Because of your parallel boyfriend? Yeah. <laughs> oh, is Gubo a little sad that his friend whom he kidnapped and imprisoned isn't particularly pleased with him? The mirror seems a lot bigger than it used to be. Don't stare at my butt. I don't like it. Does he though? And you can relate, no? Perhaps in a way more literal than one would initially suspect? I dare say. He sang doesn't want to be under the limelight. Yeah, it does feel a bit weird to call it the same thing. They could just call it something else. The League of N Argyle and Hammer. Yes, why does Sang Yi have wings again? Uh, it never really came up. It's hard to imagine any iteration of Yi Sang saying the word stuff, but okay. Very disbanded. Sure, yeah, nah, f yeah, sure, right, yeah, sure, okay. Not really uh, acknowledging the fact that Yi Sang might be the person who needs someone to talk to considering he's stuck in a white room by himself and already kind of needed someone to talk to before that happened. 
because you already had more than a few problems, but, uh, you know, what do I know? This stage is pretty fucking cool. Oh, it goes pretty far, actually. Look at that. Hey, I like it. Very nice. And obviously, there's all the golden bow stuff, and this fight will be trivial, so don't worry about it. Oh, this is going to be a long ending bit, isn't it? Because we're going to go like right into the middle. I can fucking see already. Okay. That's fine. Easy. Oh my god, it's the bull. The space twists. At the same time, a familiar cry is heard from behind. It somehow bears resemblance to the cry of an abnormality we reduced to an egg earlier. Start running! Thirteen sinners haphazardly rush down the path. In there! That uh, looks like a dead end. Sinners scheme seem scared. Do we still go in there? Don't run. Big fight. Running into a dead end could obviously end in one way. The abnormality rammed the sinners. You stubborn bull! We have no choice. It has to be suppressed once more. All allies took 15 HP damage. Ah. Win the next battle to gain the ego gift. Hot tears. More ego gifts. Let's go. We fought this thing so many times. I think we can handle it. 550 HP. Uh-huh. What else is new? Not even close. He did not land a hit. I'm not entirely keen on skipping so much stuff, but on the other hand, I want to respect you guys' time, and I'm like, we fought the Brazen Bull before, or Brass Bull, I can't remember what that one's specifically called, I think it's Brazen Bull. We fought a lot of these things before, there's been a lot of fights in Kanto 4, I think this is the best way. I don't know, it's not a criticism on the Kanto itself, purely that I don't want to waste you guys' time with repeated combat encounters. I take minus 10% wrath affinity damage, and when hit, when hit, gain one attack power up next turn, that's actually pretty damn good. Oh wow, are we getting to a boss already? The only visitors to the room were Herman and Gubo. Gubo keeps recommending him to join the new League of Nine. I suspect he's not into it. Just, I get that impression, you know? I just get the feeling. He might not be. He probably wanted to find his mirror version, which had been Obug. Or it had been Bugo. He wanted to talk to Bugo. It's very important that he speaks to Bugo immediately. Of course he didn't. Not as if that's information that could have been useful now, but then again, there's no real way you could have predicted all this. However... Hello, ma'am. It's been a while. Uh-huh, that's roughly what I was expecting. <laughs> he is a reticent man! Let me just Google that word real quick, because I think I know what it means, but I don't know for sure. Yeah, withdrawn. Doesn't reveal one's feelings. Yeah, yeah, that's about right. <laughs> you want to destroy all the other realities? What? <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> Excuse me? Uh huh. <laughs> I bet you do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 a little secret between friends. We're all friends here. It's almost as if there's a certain level of trauma and distrust and general bad feelings uh, associated with returning to the League of Nine. I don't know. And also that it's not the same organization anymore. I don't think the point of the League of Nine was power, per se. Yeah, but he don't care. None of us do. 
이전과 변하지 않았소. 음. 거울 세계의 파괴라. 구보와 헤르만이라는 자는 꽤 진심으로 보였어. But the question is why, and also what the fuck is going on with Yi Sang's neck? The bit under his chin forms like a perfect, almost rectangle. That looks really painful. 맞소. 그가 걷고자 마음을 먹었다면 이루고 말 것이오. Yeah, almost certainly. 그리고 나 또한 그가 원하는 바를 이루어 주고 말겠지. Bet you feel pretty silly telling Yi Sang to help him now, Sang Yi. When he wants to destroy your entire world, universe, planet, it's not clear. 하지만 자네만큼은 사라지지 않았으면 좋겠어. It's almost guaranteed to happen, though. 구보가 자네마저 파괴하기 전에 이곳을 날아가시오. 너는 facial expressions got a lot more serious. It's rather embarrassing that it took me this long to think about it. Or to even make the connection, but better to be better late than never. Yi Sang is obsessed with the idea of being able to metaphorically, presumably not literally, but who knows with him, fly. And his parallel self has this beautiful pair of crystalline wings. I don't really have more to go on than that, but I've just noticed the parallel. It did take me a while, but here we are. <laughs> Maybe it's intentional design on the game's part, but my revelations seem to come at exactly the right moment, i.e. just before someone states them, obviously. So that's interesting. Yeah, just sit down and accept your fate. It's easier that way. No point trying to live for yourself or anything. I don't know. Sounds like a drag, I guess. 말하지 않았는가? 내게 남은 것은 거울 밖에 자네 밖에 없다고. Pretty bleak. 잃어버리면 새로이 메꿀 생각은 하지 않는 거야? That would be logical, yes. 묘한 소리를 하는군. 내 세계는 이곳이 전부인데 어떻게 새롭게 메운다는 것이오? Have you tried crocheting? 그리고 나서 그대는 한동안 내 앞에 나타나지 않았네. I was worried that my parallel universe mirror boyfriend thought I was weird. 문득 궁금해지고 난 다음 전부라고 했던 건 나인데 왜 그대가 모든 걸 잃은 듯한 표정을 지었던 건지. Interesting question. 거울 속의 이상 씨는. That sang ye to you, Ishmael. Thank you. 이상 씨를. 이곳에 계속 붙잡아두려는 것 같았어요. 바깥 세상은 위험하다. 그러니 안에만 있어라. The question is why? Maybe they're fucking with him with the mirror and and Sang Yi is not even a Yi Sang. It's just you know something they made up. 하지만 굳이 그럴 이유가? 허가받지 않은 불운 조직. 고인회에서 만든 기술을 회수하러 왔다. Did, I don't think T Corp actually showed up at N Corp. That seems like it would be a bit of a bigger deal in the universe, and of course, some kind of fucking war. I don't know. 모두 시계를 꺼낸 후 정확한 신분을 밝혀라. Present your clock. I can't present them my clock. My clock is my head. Did the did the tech agency staff follow him all the way there? I assume this is like resonant stuff, getting it all confused and whatever. Tisa 기술 정직원들이 엔서까지 찾아오는 것은 불가능합니다. Yeah, for real. I still find it interesting that Merso used to work for Encorp, though, like willingly, as opposed to Yi Sang, who's been held here. I suppose it's not entirely likely that these two would have had any interactions back when they were both at Encorp, but also not impossible either. Merso didn't spe- I can't remember, forgive me, because that canto was a little while ago now, but I don't think Merso ever clarified whether he was in Encorp or Nagel and Hammer. I assume he wasn't in Nagel and Hammer, because there is an identity of Merso in Nagel and Hammer. But it's an interesting thought. God, I can't wait for Masso's fucking canto. 그러니 자아 심도를 침범하려는 이 물질 중 하나일 것입니다. Yeah, seems about right. T fucking shit, hello. Imagined T Corp Class Three collector. What the actual fuck? That's dope. 
Not pretend, not my personal style. I wouldn't wear it, but I gotta respect it. Interlocking time. Reduce final damage by 30% and store it. At three count, take fixed damage by 1.5 times the accumulated damage and gain three bind next turn. Damn. Wonder if there are T-Corp identities. Surely it must be something they're working on if it's not a thing. At the end of the turn, if a HP is between 12 and 24%, instantly heal up to 65% of max HP and recover from stagger one time only. After activating Golden Dime, you gain three Fragile at, end, at turn end. They gain damage up and Fragile when they panic. Okay. What if I just told them to fuck off, though, and hit them with a big one? Oh, there was never any doubt. There was never any doubt. Although the Tails was very annoying. I never get tired of this. Beautiful. Honestly, solid effort, fellas. Solid effort, but... Not even your wibbly-wobbly-timey-wimey shit can deal with us. Not with fucking Seven Association. The best shit ever, Noah. I will not hear anything different, and I don't want to hear any of your facts and logic disputing this. Shut up. A flowering tree stands in the middle of the plain. No other flower... <laughs> no other flowering trees are nearby. The flowering tree stood with flowers bloomed in earnest, much like how I think... Much like how I it thinks of flowering trees in its thoughts in it in earnest. God, that's difficult to read. <laughs> what will you do? Uh, approach it. Hey, flower. The flowering tree cannot reach the flowering tree in its thoughts. A strong shockwave pushed everyone away, denying our approach. All allies lost 10 SP. Yi Sang lost 15 SP. Fuck, that's a lot of lost SP. Damn flower, now these fights are actually going to be kind of difficult. At some point, Sang Yi started saying strange things and talks to Yi Sang about two options. I mean, if Yi Sang is describing it as strange, then it must be pretty fucking out there. Yi Sang, if you bring the red 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 Interesting. Well, he's come some kind of suppression drugs or something. Because everyone knows that not taking medication for three days and then eating all of the medication over those three days to compensate is definitely a good idea. I am so, so joking. Don't ever do that. <laughs> I have to be clear on the internet. I cannot stress enough that you shouldn't do that. I'm not trying to patronize you, just holy shit. Uh-huh. I mean, that sounds like something he'd like. Go spread your wings and fly. I don't know. Figure it out. That's true. That's true. I'm sure somewhere is hiring architects. You could probably find something. It doesn't even have to be a town. It could be, oh, I don't know, a bus. Could be a bus. A bus would be pretty cool. Could be a bus. A bus would be pretty cool. Uh-huh. <laughs> Yeah, I get that a lot as well. Yeah, I get that a lot as well. 
define all right, because you weren't particularly pleased about being an N-Corp, so, hmm. Maybe there was. Alas. I hope you found some shoes somewhere. I bet he didn't. I bet he didn't wear a pair of shoes until he got picked up by fucking Limbus. I'm almost willing to bet money on that. I doubt we'll ever find out for sure, but call it headcanon. I expressed concern that the fight might have been difficult. It wasn't. Everything's fine. Now they're sending T Corp and Ego users. Uh, interesting, yes. Not that interesting, though. <laughs> Whoa. Uh. I have to say, the whole thing of him being in Encorp seemed like a bit, a bit anticlimactic because it was all like he's been captured by fucking Herman and Goopo and he's stuck here and then his mirror image was like, yo, stop taking the drugs and then just leave. And then he did. And that was kind of the end of it, I suppose. Oh, I dare say. Aha. Uh -huh. I don't know, we'll see. It's not over yet, but... It felt like Kanto 3 had a bit more drama involved, I suppose. Not that drama is necessary, but it just feels a little bit too calm at the moment. I present this not as a criticism, but as a I don't think it's over yet, as it were. Then again, Yi Sang was always, I think, a bit more about men like personal mental turmoil than like uh, external events affecting his life, even though they did, that definitely did happen. But for he himself, the suffering is definitely more internal and it, in almost self-inflicted in the sense that it's his own mind working against him. That's all just my conjecture anyway. Dealt with. T-Corp soldiers are fucking cool though, or collectors, I think they were. But I really am more interested in those like steampunk looking dudes and like they must be fucking powerful. You can kind of tell just by looking at them. I wonder if we'll get to fight them. Hey, a boss. The final boss or a boss? That's the question. A boss. Okay. Leaving the room of squares, Yi Sang takes staggering steps to somewhere, and now Dong Rang's turn has come. At this point in the past, he'd leave for K Corp and give the wing his technology. Oh, bollocks. Oh, fuck no. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> Someone warned me. They did. Someone said specifically like Foreman, next time it's it's a seven companion limit, the game won't warn you. So keep an eye out. And I noticed it just as my finger depressed the left mouse button. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay, well, let's see if I can bring it. I got way too fucking lax. Ah, uh, Gubo, are we gonna have to fight you? That'd be pretty cool. He's just talking shit, really. Next, he's going to talk about how you don't have any shoes. I know at least one of you out there has put this image on wiki feet. I know what the internet is like. Tottering, because he's old. He's not even that old, but he looks old. He's acting like an old man. Probably. I guess it's not a fight then. Spooky. Literally no more friends. I honest to god forgot that Dong Rang was still with us. Even though I just mentioned him in the thing, I for some reason just thought he was somewhere else. <laughs> My time had come, time to be rich! Oh, I see. Huh. Dongnang 
네가 도시의 모든 사람을 구할 작정이 아니면 어설픈 시도는 그만둬. 고작 이런 기술로 잠부를 구제할 수 있다고 생각했다면 난 진작에 모든 걸 바쳤겠지. 아하. 하지만 그런다고 바뀌겠니? 여전히 구리고 엉망일 걸. We've been over this part. Yeah, I already made my statements on this. Ah, <sighs> 그러니까 다쳐도 괜찮은 거였어. 나 혼자 무언가를 치료하려 고생하거나 마음 아파할 필요도 없었던 거지. I mean, <웃음> 정말 멍청했다. I mean, mul 그렇지? multiple forms of treatment would necessarily be a bad thing, you know? Like, I guarantee that K-Corp ampoules are A, not widely available to the entire city's populace, and B, probably pretty expensive. If Dong Rang had used his technology to provide a cheaper alternative, that could have had some serious value and saved lives, both of animals and people. In the hometown. Yeah. Yeah, but he's also kind of a tool. Yeah, so why are you here? Ah, 제가 발명한 기술에 대해 설명부터 드리자면 구인에서 온 인재라고 들었는데 기대가 매우 커. 그 영지라는 자는 아직도 행방불명이고. The young G is still missing. 네, 맞아요. Might he still be alive? 뭐. 와야 된건 아쉽지만 그 멤버 중 하나라도 건질 수 있어서 다행이야. Surprisingly fortunate actually because apparently he's very good at his job. 구인호는 언제나 넉넉한 그늘이 되어주네요. 그때나 지금이나. 아하. 그러고 보니 예전에도 이렇게 저를 보고 울던 것이 있었는데. Was it the yellow calf? 동남? 아, 그러니까. He's like, ah, I was having exposition. Don't mind me. It was the yellow calf. Yes, I won the quiz. We're getting ready to stab you, probably. I don't know. The queen has been and the fight has ended. You are no longer a slave. No, but we're this invested in this stupid mystery that we kind of want to see it through. You see, the, the the MO of our company, as it were, is that we will let nothing stand in the way of us acquiring the Golden Bows until we arrive, at which point we get very personally interested in literally everything that happens despite saying that we won't. That's what we do, Dong Rang. You should have known this if you were, quote unquote, a big fan of ours. <laughs> It'd be very funny if they all now immediately proved me wrong. 당신은 바라던 것을 잃었다고 말하는데 아무리 생각해도 그게 아닌 것 같아서요. 누렁이를 살릴 때도 그런 마음이었나요? Did you? 함부로 말하지 말아줄래요? 제가 뭔가를 바라고 누렁이를 살린 건 아니었어요. He doesn't have a shaded look very often. Also, you have no capacity to tell us to watch our words, so uh, fuck off. Nuga Borunya? Pipejuki Jikjon, Kega Wunungal Bogo, Mami Nekin and Derukunyang Solyajungozana. Origa Pongaragamaso, Yumogi Gokrenunda. What? 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 Kitanen. Is Heathcliff still be playing the part of the character he was, or is that literally Heathcliff was there take feeding milk? What? A little confused. Let me just read it again because I feel like. Okay, so. It's, oh, whatever. I won't subject you guys to this. I'm just going to try and make sure I'm not missing something here. You watch your words. I didn't save the calf expecting a reward. You think we don't know that? You saved the poor creature right before it got crushed to death because you felt like it. I remember when we took turns feeding it milk. 
I believe they would be okay to save lives for our price back then. Heathcliff must still be playing the part because there's no way in hell that these two had a prior meeting without it not coming, without it ever coming up until now. So that must be Heathcliff referring to his old character, or from you know from the script. The script is over, but I mean, Ishmael just mentioned that you know I got too immersed and felt like I was one of your companions. Heathcliff is probably still there, I guess. How very strange. Anyway, sorry to have paused things like that, but I wanted to make sure I understood what was going on. Indeed, when you relinquished your technology, you also relinquished the, des the desire behind that technology, perhaps. Yeah, it's almost as if it's something of a reoccurring theme amongst this group. Oh my god, you saying apologized for something, hold up. He did still da stab Dong back though. Which was kind of justified, really, because she'd done a lot of fucked up shit by this point and was a threat. But why did you do it with a golden bow, you fucking moron? Either in a metaphorical afterlife or in actuality. I don't know, animals have a good memory for this sort of thing. Trophies mean nothing, you have to be proud of what you've done. It doesn't... Physical tokens of said pride or appreciation mean nothing. They're gestures, tokens, that's it, nothing more. Only you and the people you care about, that is the only place from which such things even matter. Otherwise, it's completely irrelevant. Hard to know. Oh, Dong Rang, who denies all. <laughs> Interesting. Is he... Is he fucking distorting? But it's worth pointing out that Dong Rang's not an idiot. You know, I don't really think it's the League of Nine stuff that allowed him to become necessary. I mean, I don't know, I guess it got him the job at K Corp, but he had to do what he did at K Corp in order to maintain the position and thrive there. So it kind of goes in roundabouts, really. Uh huh. He's either distorting or manifesting ego, and from the looks of it, I think he's going to distort. This time, it doesn't seem to be me. Makes a nice change. Is Don Quixote going to be the only member of the party smart enough to figure this out? Holy shit, she is! And no one else even begun to think of it. Good job, Don. Well done. Maybe. Yeah, we can beat his ass, but it would have helped if we'd brought two more people, which I forgot to do. Uh huh. What if we accidentally kill him? We might accidentally kill him. Is this going to be Prelium Fatal? Come on, give me that Prelium Fatal. You know I want to see it. Damn. Nice design, though. Hello. 3000 HP! <laughs> what are you doing? Cool design, though. Cool design. Cool battlefield. Cool music. What do we got? You're empty as well. Inflict 10 rupture. 
<laughs> Targeted by Dong Rang, gain two bind every turn and take plus 50% damage from Dong Rang. Okay. If he does have passives, we don't know about them. Okay. Well, let's see what we can do. Favored. Favored. I'm going to go through this very meticulously because I'm working with two less people than I should be. So. We need to be careful. Okay. Here's what we do. Ah, uh, you're not... Well, you're fast enough that it would have some effect. We will get Crow's Eye View going. And predictive analysis, if possible, for the paralysis. Because the paralysis will apply next turn, but the power down will apply this turn. And by which point, that will have a higher chance of success. And so will this. And then just slap him, I guess. And we'll go from there, I suppose. Wait, actually, hang on. They're both neutral, huh? I don't really want to start. I know it might be a bit much, but I don't really want to start on a back foot. See what we can do. Good. Good start. Now, I'm not expecting this to be as difficult as uh, Dongbaek because... I don't know. I'm just kind of not, but... It is still a seven sin a fight, and we're here with five people, so it might become as difficult as it were. This attack power's down. Good. Good. Lovely. Good start. Of course, we know nothing about how he fights yet, and he's got 3,000 health for us to get through, so... Hmm... All we know is that he inflicts rupture and marks people, slowing them down as a result. Nice one, good job. Fuck me. That attack has attack weights. <laughs> Inflict 10 bleed. Oh boy. 10 plus 0 thanks to that paralysis. That's very helpful that we've set that up. And because Yi Sang is currently going faster than everyone else, we can make use of this. Hit him with a repost as well. I'd like forensics to be uncontested because when it hits, it fucking hits. Not that you don't have no, there's no um slash fragility at the moment. Yeah, fuck it, just go for it. It'll be okay. He's getting attack power lowered, so it'll probably be all right. Does he have six plus rupture? I mean, he does right now. He might not by the time we get there, but I don't know. We'll see. Just keep doing slash for now. Don't worry about it too much. And. Would you have a better chance, guys? Yeah, you should do that then. Okay, yeah, this seems all right. We're going to be using Crow's Eye View a lot, I think, because it is very handy if Yi Sang goes first. And when he does, there's almost no reason not to do it. Also, Dong Rang is weak to Pierce, so that's quite helpful. Doesn't do a fuck ton of damage, but it is something. Big hits, good stuff. I should keep checking, though, to see if his passives are changing. I need to remember to do that next turn. Lots of rupture. Very nice. Good. Good. Good stuff. He hasn't brought in any more friends yet, so that's good. You got any- no passives, no passives, interesting, just more destruction. Yi Sang's almost going last, which is not really what I wanted, but hey. In with the paralysis. So far, bearing in mind where the fight has barely started, it doesn't seem too bad. He's going to take 40% extra damage this turn, that's quite nice. That's Clash win, so just focus on uh, Flesh A for now. Should be alright. I think we got this covered. Dong Beck, he certainly isn't. Very nice, very nice. He's struggling a little bit. Yes, he is. Oh, just a little bit. Now batter him with that body sack. I'm excited to try out um, our Corp Heathcliff because apparently it pairs really well with Body Sack, which is convenient because that's the one ego he always fucking has. Is 
His body's taking a lot of damage. Might even stagger him soon. Or now. I suppose we'll stagger him now. Any passives? None that I can see. Seems pretty manageable. Okay, alright. Good, good. Lots of damage coming in now. Oh boy. Not taking any more damage though, because presumably he's about to phase change. Which is a downer. This was the perfect opportunity to absolutely batter him. Ah, he has changed, and now he has friends. How fucking annoying. Still no passives, though. What about your mates? Do they have any passives? Unknown, but earnest accomplishment. While this unit has earnest accomplishment, the following effects apply. Can only be defeated by with Dongrang's attacks. If a sinner drops this unit's HP to one, this sinner heals HP, and this unit gains empty honor. If Dongrang defeats this unit, he loses HP and gains one emptiness and is weakened next turn. If Dongrang defeats this unit, Dongrang heals HP and powers up next turn. I see. So we need to stop Dongrang from killing the plants, or the trees. Logical, makes sense. We can certainly facilitate that. We have means by which to do this. Unfortunately, I believe those two are the only ones with uh, skills that have attack weight, but we can still work with it, I'm sure. Yi Sang's actually going first, so yeah, go for that, and then do that and he'll be weaker next turn and then you two you two start hitting these and so we'll see what we can set up i'm not gonna get too confident we're like less than a third of the way into the fight in terms of overall damage to his health so i'm just gonna feel glad that i'm currently managing it so far and hope it doesn't get worse Repost is very useful, you love to see it. Fucking can go up to 37, I love that ego so much. It's a shame the actual damaging moment is never a fucking head, but it's not a big deal. Good hits. The good news is Dong Rang is taking damage from all this, so... Two hundred and five damage across three targets. Oh boy! Nice. We'll let him hit those trees uh, soon. Yeah, we will. Yeah, we'll let him do that. Good times. He's attacking those two trees. That's good. Let him do that, but block the ones on the rest of the trees. Oh, we can do this. Yes, we can. So that one's going there. That one's also going there. That one's going there. That one's going there. We only need to block that. The rest of this is fine. But what we should do is make sure these trees are weakened. There's, this mechanic obvious, obviously is being done for a reason, right? And, uh... I'm not going to, through some misguided sense of self-confidence, ignore the mechanic just because things are going well. Let's make sure it happens properly. Oh, oh, there we go. Big damage. We'll body these trees. It'll be pretty funny. Good. Yeah, but he's got emptiness. At plus four count, Dongrang becomes staggered. So we're almost there. We just need to stop him. Well, actually, no. By the time we're done attacking that tree. Yeah, we don't need to block him at all. And we got two coming in on that. Only one needs to get through. So wrap up on that to apply rupture count. May as well batter the shit out of him while we uh, can do so safely. We'll be able to do it again next turn. Get that clash win because we want the f slash fragility. Then that will hit that, that will hit that, and we'll have crushed that before he can actually hit it. Oh, oh, yeah, it's fine. 
we want to be a little bit, or attempt to be a little bit efficient because we are working with less tinners than we should be. So we need to be a little careful. Big hits. Oh, more hits. Yes. Love it. God damn it. Ryoshu, you had one job. You failed me. Get back in there and raise me some lobs, girl. Sucks to be you. Further sucks to be you. Now you're staggered. Has he got any passives yet? Nope, not that I know of. Okay, let's beat his ass. Go for it. Nice. Big damage. We might stagger his body soon. Is that a thing that happens? He's down to 1000 HP. And still dropping. I don't think it can... Or it might not have been able to... Go, I don't know. I thought maybe it had to stop at 1000, but I don't actually know for sure. It's all empty. It's all empty. It's all ogre. We don't know how much coin power these are gonna get because paralysis is technically in play. That's a little scary. You wanna perhaps hit him with a little bit of forest for the flames and, uh, you know, do a little bit of damage? Take advantage of that while we can and inflict him with uh, paralysis next turn and really just body him as hard as we can. Oh, he's not taking down. Oh no, he is. Thank you, pardon. I'm jumping to conclusions way too quickly. <laughs> Ah, uh, he hates it. I think it's great. He took so much fucking rupture. God damn. Wait, is he only... He's also healing. And he seems to only be taking damage from the rupture. Yeah, sure enough. That's a bunch of zeros. I'm guessing he has to be at this point for the next phase. And the reason for it's all... Oh, hello. That's inter Oh, that's interesting. I'm guessing the reason that they, he pr gained so much rupture on the clash losses was the game being like, okay, now's your chance to get him to the next, um, next phase if you haven't been doing enough damage. That's a lot of fucking plants. Good thing they don't do their own attacks. All skills target indiscriminately. With each skill used, this unit loses 2% of max HP. HP healing effects heal twice as much. Okay, presumably he's trying to eat the trees. The unit that defeated this heals by 5% of max HP and gains one haste and attack power up next turn. Ah. If only we had attacks with attack weight. Ah, we do. Ah, we do. Yeah, we do. Yes, that is a thing we have. You better fucking win that, I swear to God. Actually, I'll tell you what. Just to make sure, I know this is a bit of overkill, but... That will pretty much ensure... Jesus Christ, it freaks out when I do that. But that will pretty much ensure that he doesn't win any of his clashes this turn. And then the rest of us can go for these things. Or do we even need to? Eh, we probably should, just to make sure. Give it a go. Yeah, no chance. It's a cool fight, I like it. It's not particularly difficult, which actually kind of lends itself to an enjoyment of the fight because there's clearly risk involved but the fight is definitely more of a like story moment than an actual challenge which makes it interesting i suppose it really serves more as an ability to see into uh dong rang's mind which is interesting he's a character we've been playing with for quite a while so the opportunity to do that is pretty cool take that you stupid trees you're all stupid because you're trees I'm afraid we might accidentally kill him. We're hitting him very hard. Then again, distortions are pretty tough, are they not? Good job, Otis. Do it again. Do it again. Everyone loves presents. That's fine. It's in the bag, boys. Don't worry about it. Unless it isn't. I don't know. I feel like the game is always waiting for me to get too confident, and then it smacks me. Does so much fucking damage. 
Oh, he's so done for. Did you forget about Red Eyes Open? I didn't. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely love it. He's still trying. He's still doing his best. He's still trying to get those sweet, sweet trees. And I say, no. Have presents instead. More presents for you. Enjoy. Fuck face. Honestly, it probably won't be necessary to take out the trees anyway. I reckon we should just press the advantage and kill him now. Yep, bang him out. We're about done here. There we go. Nice. With two less members than I needed. I was kind of surprised that the game recommended seven players, seven characters for that, honestly, because it wasn't that tough and there weren't that many enemies. Then again, I don't know if all of these um, high attack weight egos were available back then. Maybe they weren't. Yi Sang's skills gain two final power when ally dies, remaining allies gain one haste and one attack power up next turn. Taking a backward glance at our trails, all of us have been suffering great losses. True that. I guess we're about to encounter the actual final conflict, at which point I'm going to make sure I bring as many people as I can. Yep, here we go. Upon entry, you will no longer be able to travel to the other nodes of the dungeon. Yi Sang will fully heal HP and have their SP re reset to zero. Are you sure you want to proceed? Let's just have a quick look, make sure I've seen Erefin. Yes, I've got Erefin. Let's do it. Fatally wounded. God damn it. Dong Rang is nearing his death in this distorted form. Could this be it? His eyes grow calm as if looking at a once peaceful field in his memories. Is he about to fucking manifest? Now we can bring two more people. Okay. Well, we could back then, but now I'm going to bring two more people. I mean, looking at the way it is, I guess really it's going to be fucking um, Faust and Ishmael, isn't it? They play the best with what we've currently got. He's level 28, he's level 26, and R Rodia N Corp is not particular, particularly great, so, hmm. Yeah, okay. Now for a real fight, I assume. Rather unfortunate, because, like, wasn't the whole point to try and help him out of it, but, uh, you know, it's, it's Project Moon. There's a nice cow. Oh. What? <laughs> It is a bit awkward, isn't it, really? Can't help but feel like you're just manifesting this and it's not actually reality, you know? Like, it's not actually the cow. You're just... You believe it won't recognize you, so the cow you've made up in your brain isn't recognizing you, but... <laughs> who am I to lecture a man of science? What does that even mean, dude? Oh, yeah, yeah, lots to do. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. You've got a big future ahead of you, buddy. Don't worry about it. Well, that was unnecessary. <sighs> Is he torturing people in front of it? Yeah, I bet. How very admirable, I guess. It's true. Yes, by being an absolute, complete, unmitigated bastard. 
일정치의 양을 모으기 위해서 사람을 고문하고 눈물로 치료하고 또다시 고문하고 Oh, I bet they, I bet they really volunteered for that. Absolutely. 그러기에는 사용되는 눈물이 너무 아깝잖아요. 아하. 그래서 여러 날개와 뒷골목 조직들로부터 영상들도 수입해 오고 있는데. Yeah. 그 시청각 사례들도 점차 부르는 값을 높여가고 있지 않나요? 다른 세력들도 희미하지만 또렷하게 눈치 채고 있는 거죠. 우리 K사에게는. So what if you made your own footage? <laughs> I'm sure he really felt. I'm sure he was so excited when he joined K Corp. And oh god. This <laughs> 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 So is it just our ego or distortion manifestation and all that, or is Dong Rang perhaps resonating with the Golden Bow just about, just a little bit? Because he is a part of all this, much like he sang Dong Baek, so on and so forth. Oh. Carmen is the voice. I think that was confirmed in in Ruiner, but I don't remember. But yeah, yeah. Tongna, tolgo tora, yekillo tora on kashio. Yeah, who needs self improvement when you have magical mutation powers? Tongsen, nun tongjeri podarado. Tsunami na ibo haten tsukun tsushin tsuji ana. Of course you don't. Well, you were desensitized over time, were you not? Yep. I suppose you'll be joining them soon, yes? This is pretty fucking cool, it's why I'm not saying much. Efflorus Ego Farm Watch? Was this going to be the Scarecrow? Maybe? It would be a bit weird if it was the Scarecrow, but... Okay, what do you got? What are we dealing with? Prelium Fatal, there it is. Okay, that's pretty cool, actually. As a farmer, yeah, I kind of dig it. And we have a Millie song, lovely. So no passives that we know about because conditions are unmet. It's in Flect, Bind, and Paralysis, Bind, Fragile Seeds. At 5 plus count, gain Nutrient Drain for 2 turns. At less than 5 count, reduce count by 1. Lots of seeds, and conditions unmet to learn about more attacks. Okay, well, it's a good thing we've got a full team, hey. Faust. <laughs> I want you to use Representation Emitter because we need SP. Well, this unit's present, Dong Rang gains 1 damage up and 1 protection at the start of each turn. Okay, so those need to be dealt with. And indeed, with a uh, high attack weight, we should be able to make this happen. Oh no, we don't have enough uh, ego resources. No. Do we have enough for... We don't even have enough for holiday, do we? No. Oh, that's a downer. Wait, wrong person. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. So I'm guessing that much like last time, we're going to want to focus on taking out those trees as quickly as possible. Oh, they are attack... The trees are attacking us. Interesting. Okay. And indeed, we don't have enough attacks to contest all of them. They inflict a lot of seeds. Dong Rang also inflicts a lot of seeds. Hmm. Well, which I may well lose my first attempts if I do. Uh, oh well. But let's just see what happens. A little bit of paralysis is a good start. And some damage. 
That's not great. That's something. Getting through it, getting through it. Representation missile will help a lot. Like, Faust SP is going to tank like Sonic Fierce. If I can get it to land an execution, though, that could be helpful. Ooh, yep. Yeah. Okay, it's fine. They're definitely more durable than they were in the last fight, so that's worth considering. The fact that they get two coins on that is not great. Faust is doing alright for SP, though. But she can't use representation of Mitter anymore. And Otis can't use Holiday, so we're gonna have to fight normally, which is very annoying. Oh well. Should be able to deal with that because of the zero cost. Or zero coin power, sorry. One of the trees will still get to do what they want to do, but... This is only a Teth, which blows my fucking mind, but whatever. Um, yeah, one of the trees is still gonna get to do what it wants to do, but that'll have to be okay. There's not a lot we can do about it. Other than to try and take one of them down quickly. And then we can focus a bit more. Have we unlocked any more of your passives, sir? None of them, actually. Wonderful. Cool. Well, let's give it a go. Good. Good. Wonderful. And the gripping will help. I love the gripping. Good. It seems alright so far, but then again, I think Spice Bush seemed alright to begin with, and then that fight fell apart very quickly, so. Much like the last fight we just did, I'm gonna be taking this very fucking seriously and being very fucking careful. Mostly because of that. That bothers me. I don't like that the seeds are building up. We won't be able to do much to the tree, but we'll be able to do something, and that will help. More than nothing. Cool. Give it a go. Imagine if I'd gone into this with only five characters. God, that would have been a nightmare. Good, good. Yep, they're gone. Dongrang no longer feels pity for test subjects. Yeah, I got that impression. Even if his technology isn't recognized, even when he thinks of the yellow calf in his hometown, he isn't sad anymore. The past is all useless, I'll burn it all. And Yi Sang, I'd like you gone as well. Dongrang begins to rush at Yi Sang. I wish you wouldn't stand in what what stand in his way what who who exactly what if we get Yi Sang to stand in the way of him rushing at Yi Sang that'll be ideal and strange <laughs> will you stop Dong Rang I don't know only yeah yeah he can't do it because yeah uh, makes sense it's gonna have to be Otis there we go Otis managed to block Dong Rang's attack ah you're being a nuisance I see <laughs> Dong Rang muttered as his weapon bounced off. Beneath his bitter chuckle was a cold fury. Otis gains attack power up. Ethlores Ego Farm Watch gains too fragile. Good. And the vocals are coming back. And the trees are back. I hate the fucking trees. No. So they're all contested now. Oh yeah, we do have enough to actually contest all the trees. Thank God for that. Okay. Get that resonance, hopefully we can get a follow-up attack, and it's looking pretty good, but we'll see. No need to get too confident, hey. Good, 
good, good. It's a very cool fight. I like it a lot. I don't... Uh, yeah, I think I prefer it to Chrome because Chrome was a bit of a gimmick boss fight, at least when I experienced it, bearing in mind my experience of it was very different. And I was soloing it with N Claire, to be fair. That did make a difference. But it's worth pointing out that I don't think I'll experience most of these in their intended format, at least not these older ones, because I've just come so much further later, and there's so much different stuff available now to the player that wasn't available back then. As it stands, though, it's going pretty well. To one of the trees is gone. Dongrang's taking damage. Do we know your passives yet? When the HP is brought to 85 and 50% of max HP respectively, spawns two trees of desire and changes behavior. Ah. I wish we knew more than that. But we don't. He's got five attacks now. Yeah. That's a bother. He doesn't have paralysis. But Yi Sang does clash quite well. So go for it, buddy. I believe in you. I want to set up one of these trees to be nearly gone so that we can use execution on it. I like how the dungeon gave so many buffs to Yi-Sang though. <clears throat> a, because they force you to use them, and B, because they want you to like using Yi-Sang during this, I think. Moot for me, of course, I like Yi-Sang anyway, but I do appreciate it. Good stuff. If we can hit him with upper slash next turn, that'll give him something to think about. Goddamn, Captain Ishmael is so cool. It's nice to get to play over again every now and then, because such a good fucking ID. I reckon we can hit that tree with a little execution. Why are you attacking your tree? Why are you attacking your tree? On hit inflict 3, if Tiger has Nutrient Drain, heal 20 HP and gain 2 attack power up next turn. I don't want you to do that. I don't want you to harvest the tree. That doesn't seem very beneficial to me. So fuck you. You can land Forensics, that'd be lovely. Execute that plant. Which is <laughs> a weird sentence. And keep fighting that one. They'll probably both die this turn. Probably. Don't want to say anything for certain. Things can always happen. Oh, get him, get him, get him, get him. Yeah, oh, that was not a lot of damage. <laughs> yeah, because he's got protection from the plants, but... Oh. Go on, Ishmael. Go on, Ishmael. No. That's unfortunate. Ooh. That was a whole thing. Got to give him some credit, you know. Oh. Please don't let him win. Please don't let him win. No. No. Oh dear. That's quite a move. It's pretty cool. I wish you wouldn't do it. Now I know to be careful with that one. There we go. Now we can focus all of our attacks on him and that'll help. I've decided to erase all of the past because I feel like it, I suppose. In other words, I will have no business left with you once Yi Sang is gone. Dong Rang fat frowned, seeming quite displeased. And yet, why do you keep interrupting? Dong Rang seems to be preparing for a powerful attack. Maybe this gap could be exploited. Stand in his way. Yes. Will you stop Dong Rang again? Uh, bro, I'll try. I'll give it a fucking go, won't I? Go on, Ishmael, you can do it. Ugh, that, was, uh, that was upsettingly close. Ishmael drove their weapon into Dong Rang while his focus was elsewhere. Ugh. It looks like the attack was successful. The move Dong Rang was preparing didn't come through. I see where you stand. Then I'll just get rid of all of you, along with Yi Sang and his ideal and his strange. Gains attack power up. All allies gain five protection. Gains four fragile. So we're gonna batter him this turn. Uh, please be my nutrient. No. No, I don't want to be. And I'm gonna contest it the way it should be contested. Uh, just a nudge to get me started. Just a nudge. <laughs> Actually, do field command instead so we can stack uh, whichever one that is. I don't remember. Yellow. So we can stack yellow. 
Go for it. Sucks to be you, Dong Rang, get wrecked. What a fool he is. You've been stabbed. And your attack power is down. What a loser. What a loser. Ah, oh, we didn't get the follow up. That's sad. Nice, nice. That did do damage. You love to see it. <laughs> That's right, gaze at the tree. I really should have checked his passives, shouldn't I? I actually didn't do that this turn. If time of harvest loses in a clash, lose 5 SP. Okay. What about this? Damage up and protection, sure. Pretty much the same. Seems fine. I'm going to make his turn crap. I'm going to make every turn he does crap. I want every turn he takes to be awful and disappointing. By constantly lowering his fucking stats. Get wrecked, loser. Good shit. He's got nothing. This is not Spice Bush, not even close. <laughs> what we can do, though, is red eyes open. Which will target those two, which means we don't need to attack them anymore. Which means the rest of the party can now focus on Dongrang instead. And they fucking will. Cackle. Harpoon of Obsession, that'll do some damage, I'm sure. Get him. Just get him. Just get him out of my sight. Get him in his silly harvesting scythe out of my sight. He's a fool. He has no idea what the ideal is, and he never will. But what about Sam Joe? We see neither hide nor hair of Sam Joe. You hate to see it, or you hate to not see it, I suppose is the point. That was a lot of damage. Oh, but it's not over yet. <laughs> you poor bastard. Nice. What now, Dongrang? What now? Please be my nutrient? No. <laughs> nah, I'm good. No risks. Fuck you. He dies this turn. Yeah, bodied fool. Good fight, but... Mm, no, not, not, I'm not mmming as if it wasn't a good fight, but mm, in terms of difficulty, nowhere near Spice Bush. Try doing a little bit of training, maybe get better next time. If you're gonna manifest the ego, at least be a challenge. God damn. Oh, well, yeah, I was gonna say he might have succeeded the clash. Okay. Nah, he's done. Poke him. Ah, he's not dying. He's refusing to die. Interesting. <laughs> Jesus Christ, he's taking a beating. Good God. I really shouldn't be wasting my time like this, dying and such. Coming to a sudden realization, Dong Rang stopped in place and he looked at the ceiling as though he was looking up at stars in the sky. At this very moment, I'm losing out for each second it spends without crying. The opportunities and time to change the world are scattering. Dong Rang then glared with bloodshot eyes. Yi Sang, it's you. You're the only one who needs to go for this to be over. Stand in his way. Yi Sang walks ahead. Ah, oh, it's not even a choice this time. I must insist that I mark the end for Dong Rang. Well, that would be most ideal. Oh, shut up. Shut up, you stupid little goth bastard. 
Sloth advantage. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> It'd be really funny if this didn't work, though, hey? There we go. Yi Sang managed to stop Dong Rang in his path. Yi Sang, I plead you, end this now, Dong Rang. How can I? In the end, someone has to cry tears, isn't that right? Dong Rang pulled the weapon, lodged into himself deeper inside. Let's end it this way, Yi Sang. It is the most ideal. Dong Rang has been confronted and murdered. He's dead. We've killed him. <laughs> What the fuck are you even doing? Okay, the wall, okay. Ah. Oh. That's rough, buddy. <laughs> I mean, what else is new? Oh, yeah, do I have to do the thing I do? 비록 영지라는 분은 제 입을 빌려서 말한 것에 불과하지만 전 이런 생각이 들어요. Please, Hong Lu, I love to hear what you're thinking, buddy. Go for it. But what do you got? 어쩌면 이상 씨가 썼던 이 편지들은 거울 속에 이상님한테 보내는 것만이 아닐 수도 있다고요. Perhaps. 과거와 지금과 앞으로 만날지도 모르는 모든 인연에게. Including us, because we're very significant. 이상 씨는 쭉 도와달라고 말하고 있던 걸지도 모르겠다는 생각이 드네요. Distinctly possible. Very likely, actually. He sang. What was on your mind just before you left Encorp? I thought his glasses looked stupid, but I really wanted his coat. Nalgigopsodo, 그래서 바라볼 수밖에 없었고 그래서 현실이 안주할 수밖에 없었던 거야 마치 내가 불꽃놀이를 보면서 별을 꿈꿨던 것처럼 하지만 거울은 가능성을 보여주고 있는 거잖아 그러니 알겠어? 거울을 부러워할 필요는 없는 거지 Yeah, we can get him some wings, why not? Surely it's an ego. 네가 바라보았던 건 네가 품고 있는 가능성. 너는 처음부터 가지고 있었던 거야. 네 가능성을 현실로 만들 날개를. Don't we all? <웃음> 이 말을 해주고 싶었어. Not a possibility you need to Yi Sang or even these characters in this video game. 첫 번째 수감자 Yi Sang 기다리고 있었답니다. The first sinner. Limbus Company Ipsashindamian. Geotigo Tizajin, Tangshin and Algeri, Richard Richo. Right, but how? Crico. What the? Hm. Nanin. Gazin Chogak to touch to a Jejun and Obso. Hajiman, Panja Coridan Kunum Pitrin. Cosy 
야. 그렇게 모든 건 허무 같은 찰나에 지나지 않을 텐데. He saying, "Why did you make the mirror?" Uh, I thought it'd be funny. 나는 가치를 담기 위해 기술을 만든 적은 없었어. 과거로 돌아갈 재간 또한 없다는 것도 알고 있지. 그죠? 네가 들고 있는 그 거울은 연심이라 하오. 연심. 연심이라. To grind or study, to seek. 이것은 무언가를 갈아내고 마음마저도 갈아내어 광을 낸 것이기에. 그렇구나. 모든 이상은 연구의 진심이었나 봐. Seems that way. 나는 날개를 잃었다고 갖지 못했다고 생각했어. 날개 쪽지만을 애달프게 요동치며 연구를 붙잡고 있었다고 생각했지만 사실 거울의 진실한 이름은 이것 같소. Is it Sangyi? Please call it Sangyi. It'll be very funny. 연심. Damn it. <laughs> to connect the heart. Oh, it's an. Is it another word with dual meaning? If so, that's nice. 이것은 마음과 마음을 이어주는 것 같기에 줄기차게 살아보고 퍼덕이며 날개짓 해보고 싶었기에 거울을 만들었고 I also strive to live, flap and flutter 추락하더라도 좋으니 다시 한번 허공을 향해 날아보고 싶었어 어느 날 이고는 반드시 절망하고 말 것이오 그렇기 때문에 어디까지라도 that's true. Inevitable neg negatives must be counted with enjoying things before that happens. It makes sense. 날개가 있느냐 없느냐는 중요치 않은 것이었어. 모든 이상은 빼어난 재주를 가지고 있어. 동시에 모든 이상은 무지하지. Yeah, right. 모든 이상에게는 날개가 보이지만 단 하나의 이상만이 날수 있어. All ye sangs are strange, yet all ye sangs are ideal. 그렇다면 거울 속의 이상은 거울 밖의 이상과 반대일 테지만 또꽤 닮아 있지. 음흠. Mm -hmm. 네가 보았다던 빛나고 찬란했던 그 날개 말이야. 그건 나의 날개이자 거울에 비친 너의 날개야. It's true. 왜 그렇게 생각하냐고? 뻔하지 않겠어? 거울은 자신을 비추는 거니까. Mirror is a reflection of the self. 내게서 날개가 보였다면 그 날개는 너에게 달린 당연하게도 너의 것이겠지. It's elementary, my dear Yi Sang. 그럼 이제 땅을 박차고. Flutter your wings, my boy. 그렇죠. 한번 더. 아. 날고 싶었어. That's so fucking cool. Oh, let's go. That is fantastic. I was trying to restrain myself. I was trying to restrain myself vocally in the moment because I didn't want. Oh, sorry, Dong Rang. I'm talking over you. I don't care. I wanted to. I didn't want to talk over. But I was like, this is so hype. The fact that he's doing crow's eye view at this moment is fantastic. Ah, oh, ah, oh, ah. Oh, what a finish. Ah, oh, mm, holding up a little sign with a ten on it. Ah, oh, ah, chef's kiss. Ah, oh. ah, oh, amazing. Ah, oh, simply incredible. Get wrecked, Dong Rang. You loser. 그날의 봄을 기억한다네 우리의 눈에는 별들이 떠올랐지 You're fuck now, buddy 반짝거렸지 네 날개만큼 반짝거렸어 As your wings 나는 구인회라는 그늘에서 
Lie. Damn. Pass on. I wish you'd come. Good. Good. So, I'm going to die. Goddamn, what a finish. What a goddamn finish. What an absolutely fantastic finish. After some time has passed... With Dongrang's death, our contract with him was rendered null and void. Meaning, the only way for us to be handed the Golden Bow was by taking it back with us. Oh, bollocks. I mean, I, I don't, we didn't have a lot of control over the situation, I gotta be honest with you, there's not a lot we could have done. It also wasn't in our contract to have a control over the situation, so, you know. Why do I suspect she's not gonna give it to us? Uh-huh. Direct. <laughs> I'm not sure he really opposed us per se. He just kind of got corrupted or distorted, really. He distorted, and people who distort don't really think clearly. <laughs> what a cheeky prick he was. You're correct, ma'am. Oh, don't you worry, ma'am. I'll continue to not do that. Screw yourself. <laughs> oh, I hope she can hear it. I hope she can hear us. You also hired Sheer Association's assassins to silence Shren, didn't you? They're telling you that they got the message. Yeah. But it really did. Yeah. We gain nothing by spreading information on that thing. Company <laughs> The best we can do is offer a contract to promise not to say anything. Uh-huh. Oh, that works too, I suppose. <laughs> I don't think we should be just going to agree to it. Uh, you might want to go for the contract. <laughs> Oh, that's a good thing Vagilius is here. Mm. Yeah. Okay, I guess that's what happens when you have one. Oh, can't imagine the possibility that that would be the impression we left with, but we're not going to leave with because we're not going to remember any of it anyway. Yes, so this conversation is rather moot, isn't it? In spite of Ryoshu's menacing intimidation, 
Following the unfriendly instructions of people who appeared to be K-Corp's high rank staff and fixers, we were put through a memory wipe procedure, erasing every recollection of the tearful thing from the sinners' heads. As we left, Alfonso told us to look forward to how the tears will be used in the future. Uh huh. The sinners had memories of seeing something in the laboratory, but none of them could recall what it was, how the tears were collected, or how HP bullets were made. Panasaurus, the last word. I can never have time to read that fucking thing. By the way, Yisang, where did you want to fly? I feel like that was pretty obvious. He doesn't want to fly so we can go somewhere specific, he just wants to fly. What about now? Mm. No ah, but it came with a little smile. What they didn't notice, however, is that the memory wipe didn't work on me for some mysterious reason. Okay. That's interesting. Could I recover the sinner's wiped memory somehow? Like how I rewind their injuries using the clock? The thought occurred to me, but alas. I don't know how I would do that, and I'm not sure if it'd be possible at all. I was sure about one thing. The fact that I am retaining the memories they tried to erase must be valuable, so I decided to stay quiet about it. Yes. Good. You've got 12 other sinners to face it with you. Yeah. Good? Good. 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 I mean, I kind of have to, but I mean, yes, of course, buddy. Actually, I'm not sure. I'll get back to you on that. Of course. That's right. Even if their memories are taken, it won't gnaw away at the determination that has firmly taken root in their hearts. Then, what is the determination that I have left? This is becoming very Undertale. How much must I remember and witness? Thinking such thoughts, I looked at Virgilius, who was on the other side. Are you hearing my brain now? You heard what I said? This <laughs> Good point. So what the fuck? But I don't have a face. Did I have facial expressions? <laughs> and on that note, the end of Canto 4, I think? Oh yes, effervescence. Uh-huh. Right. Not sure I buy it. Have you been well? Onjenga. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. Modun <laughs> That's nice. To close off. Allow <laughs> me one final remark, yeah? 
いいさん<笑> Who the fuck is this? <laughs> Whom? Alas, we will never know. Although we probably will at some point, but right now, probably not. Is he gonna do poetry? <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to once again fucking alter this song because I don't want the copyright, but damn, Canto 4, not bad. Like, I see what people are saying in that. I mean, there's been a lot of actual mixed um, opinions on Canto 4. A lot of people have said it's their favorite, a lot of people have said it's the weakest one up to Canto 4. Although, Canto 5, I think they've claimed it's like the weakest one either since what the first one or in general. Some people have been, been like, it's alright, it's pretty good, it's not as good as 2, or it's not as good as 3, or it's, it's all over the place. People's opinions on it vary greatly. I find it difficult to place it as a Canto, because it was such a different experience to most of the Cantos. Like, it feels like a lot more happened. If you know what I mean, like I felt like more, more, there was just more, I guess. Maybe that's because of how many fights there were, but of course the large amount of fights were a bit of a downer because boy, did it elongate the, the Canto excessively. But I stated before, and I stand by this, that considering that, you know, Project Moon have to fucking try and knock out another Canto as quickly as they can each time they finish making a Canto, I don't necessarily begrudge the decision to pad a canto so that it lasts a little bit longer. I don't necessarily think it was a good idea, but I understand the decision. So, yeah, you know, like, it is what it is. But I liked Canto 4. I don't think I can place it in a, in a, in a ranking among the cantos, because I'm not sure if it was better or worse. In some ways it was way better, and in some ways it was way worse. But, at the end of the day, it was precisely what I wanted, which was a Kanto exploring the characters and focusing on Yi Sang. That's what I wanted from a Kanto focusing on Yi Sang. It's precisely what I wanted. We learned more about the world. We met new characters. Those characters proceeded to fucking die. <laughs> like, we got attached to them and then they were killed. Yeah, pretty standard. More banter, more character development. It simultaneously was a standout and was very mundane. It was very special and very run of the mill. It was very interesting and very boring. It was strange and it was ideal. I got no better way to put it than that, truly. Why is he Cliff angry at Ryoshu? <laughs> what did she do this time? And why is Carolyn asleep at the wheel? <laughs> I love these end of Canto pictures, I really do. The song is great. I was wondering what it would sound like if uh, Yi Sang's voice actor singing a song. And it's good. It's deeper. Which I like. It's my own singing style, funnily enough. I'm in a band, by the way, I don't know if you noticed. It's alright. Sung by Yi Sang. <laughs> Amazing. Ah, no. I like, well, regardless of the weird wishy washy uh, description I gave of my experience of the Canto, the one thing that is not a uh, positive and negative comment wrapped into the same thing at the same time is that I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. It was enjoyable. I enjoyed it. And I liked it. And it was fun. And it was interesting in the grand scheme of things. Overall, the overall thing. I just don't know where I'd rank it amongst the rest of the Cantos, because... I don't know. They're all so different, it's kind of hard to put one as being objectively better than the others, because they provide different experiences. To, like, I've, we've been over this. First one was depressing. Second one was a... improv D&D game. The third one was fucking trauma and genocide. The fourth one was... I guess focusing probably more on mental illness, really. In terms of its themes. Like, there are many themes. There are many themes in all of the Cantos, but I feel like... 
the big danger or the big threat or the big problem in Canto 4 was in fact Yi Sang's mental state and his mental health. A lot of the problems in his life could have been solved, a lot of the problems he had could have been solved if he was in a better mindset, but obviously he wasn't because of what happened and how he is and all of that. In SK's alleyways, they sure are serious about eating. It amazes me how they can look so happy while eating out. I stepped out of the restaurant to briefly catch some fresh air. Oh, what the fuck do you want, you little bastard? Goddamn. You're... I didn't even notice you arrive. How long have you been there? And who are you? I know you're Demian, but who are you? Yeah, but you didn't tell me when. Because it's weird. I don't like people looking at my clock face. Did you come here to vomit vague philosophy at me, or is, is there actually a reason for this meeting? I suppose. Okay. Right. Okay. I hope Dante is similarly as confused. I suppose. Uh-huh. Sure. Oh, you actually want me to participate in this conversation now. I... Yes, I suppose it is, actually. Never, I'd rather die. I don't think I did. Just as I tried to say something, he vanished, leaving only a hint of loneliness. He was nowhere to be seen, as if he returned to where he belonged. I couldn't even remember what I was trying to answer. Did he show up just to... <laughs> vomit vague existential crap that sort of ties into what we just did? <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, the clock face moved. Fuck does that mean? <laughs> God damn. <laughs> well, we did it. I well, we did it. Damn, oh, we got a new interval. Oh, we got a new interval. Ah, oh, lovely. Ah, oh, we're not even going to Canto 5 yet. We got another interval to get through. Nice. I'm not going to complain about having more stuff to do. I want to ride this train, this bus, for as long as possible. Fuck it. Let's go. Well, that was a hell of a canto. It was a fucking long one, but we finally got to the end. 
Oh boy, um, uh, uh, tier list, yeah, Sinner tier list will be next video, and I don't know what else I'll do in that video, I'll figure it out, I assume we've unlocked, like, hard mode mirror dungeons now or something? Yeah, we have, okay, so we'll do that next time, next time will be, um, uh, Sinner tier list and, uh, hard mode mirror dungeon, and we'll see how that goes, and I'll get more minor boss fights spoiled for me, I suppose. If only I had sat here and played the game endlessly without doing the mirror dungeons once. Oh well. But that's all I've got time for today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. Kanto 4 has been an absolute blast. Looking forward to the next Intervalo. Uh, my brain is empty. I'm not sure what else to say. It's been a great time. I love you, Sang. I love all the sinners, I suppose. Don't miss Dongrang that much. He was an interesting character, but he needed to go. Dongbeck was kind of a piece of shit, but Spice Bush was pretty fucking cool. And I hope we see Young G again at some point, even though we've never actually seen him per se, but it would be an interesting reun uh, reunite in moment. I don't know how. Mm, never mind. Whatever. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. My brain is frazzled. Special thanks to Lit Potatoes, Proxy, Kamenira, Moa, Heartland, Herrick J, Draft, Dresso, Sion Distance, Lol, Final Legend, Etherbin, Linky, Zeon Cedar, Bimblewarts, Majoko, My Moon, Alkir, Honeydew Corporation, Sweet Baby Red, Jesse Kitty, Plutonium Pie, Dreamer Ghost, Leper Lullaby, K Bub, Magic Cow, The Frostbite, Monsoon, Warmaster OQ, SCP 106A, Namad, and Kenny T800. For supporting me on Patreon, thank you so much, guys, and thank you all so much for watching. Uh, fuck man, I don't know, I'm just looking forward to doing more, more Limbus, really, I just am, like, I don't know what to say, like, uh, I wonder if Intervalo is gonna be good, of course it's gonna be good, even if it was mediocre for Limbus, like, in terms of the overall quality we've experienced in Limbus so far, it's still probably gonna be pretty good, and it's gonna be more time spent with the characters, great, fantastic, joy, can't fucking wait, looking forward to it. I simultaneously want to get through it all as soon as possible, and also want it to not end, but that... Come to think of it, Kanto 6 is actually coming very, very fucking soon, isn't it? So, it's gonna be a while before we're done with, uh, with Limbus, and like, by the time we get to the end of Kanto 6, I don't know how the time frames will work here, and obviously a Kanto takes a while to make, but might not be that long in the grand scheme of things before 7 is available. I don't know, too, that's too far ahead to be thinking about right now. We have no idea how long Kanto 7 will take to make, and I'm not of the mind that Project Moon should fucking rush it, right? I'm more than happy for them to take the time on this shit, absolutely. But there's a lot to do, there's more coming, I'm excited, I hope you're excited too, and whatever happens next time, hope I see you there. Doodles, goodbye.